Back wait a minute, show. wait a minute, please, uh, please. You can't go now, Mr. Disney. We haven't had a chance to give her your present. Present? Well, I have time for that. Here, Mr. Disney. Thank you. What is this? Well, it's sort of a book about Oz. Oh? Well, it isn't exactly a book. It's more of a shooting script. Shooting script? I guess we'd better explain the whole thing to you. Yes, I think I'd like that. Are you comfortable? I'm comfortable. Well, it's like this, Mr. Disney. The studio owns all the Oz stories, right? Right. And we've got to think of our future. We can't be Mouseketeers forever. Yeah, we're not getting any younger. We thought if we could do the Oz picture for you, that oh, maybe you'd let us... Now, I'm going to make a picture out of the Oz stories. But I always figured to make it as a cartoon. When? It takes you seven or eight years to make a cartoon feature, doesn't it? Well, you got me. What's your proposition? Well, first of all, we'll take most of the weight off your shoulders. We'll handle the songs for the pictures, the dance, the sketches, right? Right! What about money? Well, we figure in an artistic production such as this, money is of secondary importance, right? Right. I don't know what I'm saying, but go ahead. On the off chance we could get you to listen, we've prepared a couple of samples. Nothing very elaborate, you understand. Just rather informal. Now, here you see are some of the characters in our story. First, the scarecrow. Remember the problem he had getting a set of brains? Well, in our story, he has trouble keeping them. Here's a happy little character. Dorothy meets her in Oz. She's called the Patchwork Girl. Nice sketch. What happens with her? Well, in this little scene, the Patchwork Girl meets the Scarecrow for the first time. Bobby is the Scarecrow, and Doreen is the Patchwork Girl. <laughs> Taffeta too, purple and pink and baby blue, velvet and satin and linen and lace, shoe button eyes and a muslin face, a calico head with cotton brains, they'll shrink, I think, if it ever rains. Jiminy, criminy, criminy, jiminy, what if it rains? Corduroy poplin and percale, looks like a walking rummet sail, rags and tags and ribbons are bright and gay. With laughter and song, she'll go dancing along. A happy little patchwork the beautiful lost princess of Oz. Annette is going to play the part. I think she'll be wonderful. And here's the lovable old cowardly lion. Trouble is, he isn't so lovable anymore. 
when he becomes the king of Oz, an awful spell is put on him. This makes him cruel and conceited. Now, when Dorothy, the girl from Kansas, arrives in Oz, she and her friends try to break the spell by giving the lion a song and dance that Dorothy calls Oz Can Hop. A dance part, Kansas part Oz. The beat, beat, beat of the Kansas rain. When it's tapping out the rhythm on your window pane. Then from Oz you get a tune. It's just for the stop. Make it some up, and then he got the Oz Can Hop. Takes the walk over the lion. He's the king of Oz. Add the wiggle of the woozy as he claps his paws. Take a picture, Kansas side phone. Bring him on top. Make it some up, and then you got the Oz Can Hop. Did you ever dance the Kansas? Tears, you've earned it. We'll take a flyer on Oz. You mean you're gonna let us do the movie? Widescreen, color, everything? Everything, the works. Oh, oh, oh. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay, another cake now. Up we go, the rainbow covered skyway. Up we go, the rainbow road to Oz. Party, Bucci. You only forgot one thing. What's that? Mickey Mouse isn't here. Huh? Here I am, Walt. Well, hi, Mickey. I didn't see you come in. Oh, I've been here all the time. Great bunch of kids, aren't they? Sure are. Suffering cats, I've got just time enough to do the trailer for next week's show. Hold the fort, will you, kids?
Now.